Hi, I'm Hans Lewis Klimt. Let's talk about investing in silver and silver investing. I've been getting a lot of questions about investing in silver lately on my videos and on my websites. Um, I want to thank Gary North on his site, GaryNorth.com, for pointing a lot of this out. And if you want to look into silver, I suggest you look deeper into his site, GaryNorth.com. But let's talk about silver and investing in silver. But first of all, let's make clear that silver is not gold. These are very two different, very different kinds of uh, investments and vehicles to hold money in. And I am very much for gold. I am very skeptical to silver as an investment or as speculation or as a hedge or anything. Because you want to watch my other video where I speak about gold. Gold is money. Gold is value. Gold is fundamental. Gold is something that the central banks hold. They have in their books and in their vaults. Gold is something that used to be the basis of our monetary system. Silver also to some extent, but, but you cannot really compare how gold and silver has worked over the years. Gold is the monetary foundation, really. And silver is something that's been used as almost like a substitute in, during certain times and in certain economies, especially when silver was more readily available. Now, this is the fundamental difference between silver and gold. And there is no relationship between silver and gold necessarily. If you have a boom in one, sometimes you have a boom in the other, but there's no, there's no relationship, institutional or psychological or, or, or metallurgical for that matter. There is no relationship between silver and gold. These are two very different markets and two very different metals and used for very different reasons. Now, gold is primarily gold as a, as a storage of value, but silver is also an industrial commodity that's used for a lot of different purposes. So silver is more inclined to rise and fall uh, in recessions and booms based on how the economy is going, while gold is more um, inclined to change value according to the financial policy and the, and the monetary policy that's followed by the different governments, especially the U.S. government. Now, if you've been looking at silver or historically, you have seen that silver can rise and fall much more dramatically than gold. And silver has a tendency to follow gold. That's true. It has a tendency to follow gold. But there is no necessity in this relationship. That's the important thing to realize so that g silver could potentially go the other way around and uh, they could uh, part their ways because there is no relationship by necessity here. Um, and also, one of the things that are holding up the price of gold is that central banks are holding it. Central banks are interested in gold. Gold is something that's essential to their holdings, while silver is not. So silver could you know, silver could, could go out of vogue and fall to zero, pretty much. And it, it, it fell very, very dramatically, historically, while gold still held up quite all right. But, still, but silver just fell down. And um, that's why I would be... Um, I have to admit that since silver is not of my favorites, I don't follow the market that well, and I'm not that into silver. Some silver bugs are incredibly uh, into silver, but I'm not. But I have chosen silver away because I focus on gold. I focus on the gold aspects of, of understanding gold and different aspects of gold and why to hold gold, why to accumulate gold and why to sell gold. So I've kind of chosen silver away. And I believe that's the rational thing to do. And I believe you should do the same. You might want to hold a small fraction of your holdings in, in silver, but the vast majority of your metal holdings should be in gold because that's the real thing. And silver is merely a substitute. Thanks.